was recently having a conversation with my friend and fellow Working to Beat Hell.org contributor, Father Sean Gould. We were talking about the moral issues that face our society today and the way in which many Catholics respond to these issues. I was lamenting to Father Sean that oftentimes I find people, rather than listening to the Catholic Church, they tend to try to figure out what would Jesus say about these various situations, as if the two were somehow separate. Father Sean had a rather keen insight. He stopped me in the course of our conversation and he said, you know, what would Jesus do really isn't a Catholic question. As I thought about that, I said, you know, Father Sean is exactly right on that. What would Jesus do isn't really a Catholic question. Now, when I say this, I don't mean it in the sense that we shouldn't try to imitate Christ. Oftentimes we give kids the little bracelets that say WWJD as a way of helping to remind them that they are to imitate Christ when they're out on the playground or in their daily lives. But what Father Sean was speaking about is it's not a proper question in terms of how we philosophically approach our morals. In other words, we don't approach our morals by saying, gee, I wonder what Jesus would say about these particular issues. Rather, we believe that we have the answer to that question to begin with. Because what would Jesus do about these particular questions is he would establish a church, and that church would be safeguarded by the Holy Spirit and would be able to teach truth on matters of faith and morals. So we have the answer to that question. What we need to do then is turn to the church to get guidance so that we can understand Christ's will. You see, when Christ was on earth, so often we think of him as just a man, but he wasn't. He was God incarnate. And as God incarnate, he knew not just what was going on in his day, but he had his infinite wisdom. As God He's able to know what would happen 10,000 years in the future, what would happen 1,000 years in the future, and how to address those situations. And so what he did is he established a church as the way in which he chose to address the moral issues that would plague centuries later, that would plague millennium later, that would even plague us in the 21st century. And so if we want to know what Jesus would do about something like stem cell research, for example, we don't need to try to figure out and say, gee, I wonder if Jesus were here, how he would respond. But rather, we can turn to the teachings of the church and say, what do the teachings of the church tell us? Because they are the authentic teachings of Jesus Christ. When Christ established the church, he did so saying that he was going to send the Holy Spirit, and the Holy Spirit would guide the church in all truth. And so the Holy Spirit, we believe, safeguards the Catholic Church from teaching error on matters of faith and morals. So what this means is that when the Catholic Church speaks authoritatively, she is speaking the will of God. She is speaking without error the will of God. And so all we need to do if we want to know what God's will is, what Christ's will is, is simply to listen to the teachings of the Catholic Church. You know, one of my friends once posted on Facebook, Father Isidore Bard, he said, when people ask what would Jesus do, I think a valid answer would be to say he would start freaking out and flipping tables over. Now, that kind of humorous sentiment, I think, also shows that the way in which we ask that question, what would Jesus do, is often asked in the wrong spirit. Because usually it's meant to say, well, he wouldn't do whatever it is that we're doing or you're doing. But see, what would Jesus do, going back to Father Sean's comment, really isn't the question. The question is, what does the church tell us we're supposed to do? And then our responsibility is to take those teachings that the church has and to manifest them in our daily lives, to incarnate them in our daily lives. So we take these teachings and then we approach the particular circumstances of our lives and we say, how do these teachings now influence my behavior in situation X, Y, and Z? Because that's what we need to do as Catholics. We need to manifest Christ's will. So we know Christ's will by turning to the church and exploring her teachings. And then we manifest that will when we take those teachings and live them out in our daily lives.